Namaste, it's Amber Jean. And recently I've had some people coming to me saying, I can't do yoga because of my wrists. And I know this is a modern problem with as much computer work that we do, texting, uh, squeezing the handlebar when you're driving long commutes. And so instead of not practicing yoga, and this also goes back to Larry Schultz's original philosophy of our bodies are gonna keep changing. And as we go through those changes, instead of not practicing, we wanna adapt our practice. And so this routine, we're gonna just do a short little simple routine. I'm gonna show you a yoga routine where you're not using your wrists. Okay, so we're gonna exhale. Uh, the only prop that you may want is, I call these medicine blocks, um, because they can help you not collapse in some of the poses. So up to you if you wanna have a block handy. So we're gonna start by laying on our back, squeeze the knees in, immediately connect to your breath, inhale and exhale. Rock your spine. Breath is going in and out through the nose. And then reach for your fingertips towards the insides of your feet. Open the knees. This is happy baby. Good. Yoga is about overcoming our challenges no matter what. Good. And then from here, this is a little bit of a deeper stretch, but I'm sure it'll feel good. It's just to go into a laying down butterfly and then rock it out a little bit. This is where we want to lift the pelvic floor. So that's called Mula Bandha. Make sure you're lifting Mula Bandha. Good. And just take a couple breaths. Reach your arms above you. Hold your elbows. Four. Good. So immediately you should start to feel a shift of energy um, just from the couple minutes we've been breathing consciously. Hug your knees in and grab the backs of your legs, rock up. So we're gonna come up onto the knees. And so we don't wanna use our wrists to come to standing. So you take one foot out in front of you, curl your toes and exhale into standing. Okay, so let's go to a prasarita. This is gonna even out our hips. So we're gonna roll our heels out. We wanna be pretty wide. Inhale, raise arms. Exhale, fold forward. So when we touch our fingertips down, there's no pressure on the wrists, okay? Inhale, look up. Fold your head. This might be a deep enough stretch. Otherwise, walk your hands back again. It's up to you if you want to flatten the hands and get a very gentle wrist stretch. Spread your toes, engage the edges of the feet. Three, four, And five, inhale, look up, exhale, hands to hips, come all the way up, raise your heart. Good. So the most important fingers in uh, your practice for Ashtanga, Rocket, and Hatha is your first fingers and thumbs, okay? And so we, you want to engage these two fingers more than anything else when you're touching your mat. Um, just a tip. So now we're gonna to face towards the right leg, and this is a, um, the standing sequence in rocket. Grab your block. So hips are square off the midline. Bend the right knee. Inhale, raising arms. Good, now spread your fingers. Lengthen, lift the heart. Four. Exhale, open warrior B. So a little wider, bend that knee a little deeper. Lift your heart. 
Right, loosen your neck, look over the right hand and look back. Good, now we're gonna straighten the leg, step in a little bit. And I like to take the medicine block up super high so I have a lot of space in my upper hip joints for the trikonasanas. Arms, or for Utita, arms up, inhale, exhale, reach to the right. Good, take that left arm straight up, look to your thumb. So this isn't about what it looks like, this is about how it feels in your body. So this is a much more gentle approach to a standing trikonasana. The thigh is rolled out, this back heel is engaging down. And wow, does that feel great. Good, so now I'm gonna position the block lower, okay? Square the hips, left arm up, inhale, exhale, lengthen, reach down for the block into a twist. So the right hip rolls back and then we're twisting and this is where you wanna be real careful that you're not putting pressure on the wrist. So your fingertips gently brush the block. You can fold your arm behind your back. Inhaling and come back up. Good, so go a little wider. Back into Warrior B, set your forearm down, reach across to side stretch, lunge, reach, look to your fingertips. Inhale, come back up. Good, all on the midline, and now we're gonna reach up, square the hips. I moved my back foot, twisting prayer. So as I'm pushing my hands together, this is giving me a gentle stretch in my wrist. I'm also reaching my back foot down, stretching my calf. Four and exhale. So as you bring your knee down, no chaturangas, we step back, move the block, and then lower your forearms down. So this is a great way to work on your shoulders, lace the fingers together, and then lift up your knees. So step in, step in, raise the right leg. We want the hips up really high. Switch feet. Good, and exhale, come down. Good, so remember how we came up into standing? Take your left foot forward this time, curl the back toes, use the strength of your legs to lift. All right, get your medicine block ready. Here we go, other side. Inhale, raise to warrior A. Look up. Square the hips, energy through your center. Exhale, warrior B, a little wider. Loosen your neck, look back, look forward. Straighten your legs, step in, inhale. You can prepare and reach up. Exhale, reach for the medicine block. Super high variation. Good, don't put pressure down on the hand. This is just resting gently. Exhaling, position the block lower, a little bit more square in the hips, rotating around and around. Rotate, open your chest, reach up. Very light pressure with the fingertips. Fold the arm behind your back. Find your sweet spot. 
I just felt mine. And we're gonna inhale, release, and come back up into a warrior B. So really widen out your feet. Set your forearm down, reach across. Gaze towards your palm, lengthen. Inhaling, raise up, square your hips forward, lift your fingertips, and twisting prayer, exhale, push the palms together, gentle stretch. Exhaling, gaze down, take both knees down, step, knee, knee, and rest in child's pose. Good, so there's lots of seated poses that you can practice uh, without putting pressure on the hands. So for example, Agni Stambhasana, take your right foot over your knee, stack your ankles and knees, good, breathe here and lengthen forward. Good, so you're, you might be a little bit more, your legs might look more like this or modify and just cross your ankles, put your right leg on top. Find your sweet spot. This is a great one for the hips and back. Switch sides. Good, so we're always lifting, but we're not hyperextending, okay? So we're lengthening, pulling the navel in, lengthening up, engage your core, and fold. Inhale up, good, and exhale. So gentle seal of the practice, grab your elbows, look up, fold. Be gentle with yourself, be gentle to others on and off the mat, and inhale up. Good. Be inspired, everybody. Namaste.